What up gang, William Accio, back with another YouTube video. And today's video, I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm actually gonna be training with Future billionaire over here, Jorabini TV. Hola, como estas? Please make sure you guys check out his channel. He just hit 12K. Let's get him up to a million K and let's get myself up to a trillion K. But anyways, for this video, I'm gonna be talking about how COVID has been this past season, this past 21 spring season, and all the downsides and some of the good sides with it, and just give you guys the insight of how it is being a college player and dealing with COVID-19. So please make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video before we get started. And I'd like to say thank you again for 4K. But let's get to this video. Let's go. Alright guys, so the very first thing about this whole COVID pandemic, being a college soccer athlete, um, is masks. Masks are huge. You have to wear masks everywhere you go, when you travel, when you're going to get meals with your teammates, just when you're you know, walking around school on campus, because there's a lot of people that actually have taken photos of athletes and submitted it to our athletic director. And that does not look good on the program, that does not look good on you or your team. So you gotta make sure you're wearing masks 24 seven. You can get suspended, you can get expelled, or you can just get in a lot of trouble. And and for you guys that are going into college as first years freshmen or are in college, make sure that you're wearing your mask, make sure you're following protocols because you can get in a lot of trouble and it just it's only gonna hurt you going forward in the future. One of the things that sucks the most is you must get tested twice a week for COVID. And um, I'm sure that's similar with a lot of other pro clubs or other schools, but twice a week, every single week, you have to get tested. It's either gonna be the swab in your nose or the swab in your throat, and it's very consistent. You cannot miss these days. If you miss a testing day, you are done for the entire week, which means you won't be able to travel, and you might not be able to play the next game the following week, and it screws everything up. And if you do get COVID, that is a good three, two to three weeks, you won't be with the team. You'll be on your own, quarantining for 10 days, and then you gotta get your player, to, player protocol back and work your way back into the team. So you gotta make sure you're getting tested twice a week and it's tough, you gotta to follow protocols. You don't wanna get COVID, right? You wanna stay inside, you wanna to listen to what everyone is telling you to make sure that you're healthy and you're not letting the team down. In my situation, I've already had COVID actually a few months back, so I'm still in the 150 day period where I don't have to get tested because I'm not deemed exposed to anything yet because I have antibodies. So that is a really good thing for me personally. I didn't think it would come out like this. So for the entire season, I might not be able to get tested, which is pretty good because I have antibodies. But for everyone else that hasn't had COVID yet, you know, they're gonna have to continue to keep testing. And for you youngins that are coming into college as freshmen, this is something that you're gonna have to get used to. So you have to make sure you stay healthy guys, take care of your body, listen to protocols all the time and make sure that you're moving forwards and you're doing your best. A soccer athlete, you know, you come here, you want to play, you want to do very well and you want to play as many games as you can. You know, in the previous years we get up to 20, 22 games a season, but now that's been cut completely in half. Not all games are going to be promised during this COVID season. We have 10 games this season in our WAC conference and we've already played one and the second one got pushed back as well and we've already had another one get pushed back, which is supposed to be tomorrow. So right now I'm just hanging out, chilling, training, trying to stay as fit as I can. And in the back of my head, I have to understand that not all these games are gonna be promised. And that's gonna be for a lot of you guys. Even for younger guys coming in as freshmen, COVID might still be going or going on for a couple more years. So who knows, these games might not be promised. Our coach told us maybe five, six, seven, eight games we might get. And you know, it sucks, but it is the process. And if I wanna go pro, I gotta make sure that I'm taking this obstacle and I'm using it as firepower. And I use it to my best of my ability so I can push for that professional level. So that means I just got to make the best of my time here. Every single game I got to go in, I got to execute and I got to work hard and do the best I can. We got to win a championship together so we can progress, so we can all benefit. So if you're in the same situation that I am with games being canceled, games being postponed, make sure you play every game like it's your absolute last. Go out there and execute. Do the best you can because who knows where it's going to take you. Who knows what one game can do for you. During this pandemic season, if somebody on your team gets COVID and there's a few guys that actually haven't caught COVID yet, then they cancel everything and you're gonna start training in small groups until everyone is deemed negative or until everyone has finished quarantining. And this really sucks because that takes away from a full team training session, you know, connecting with players and building a team chemistry so you guys can go out and fight together. Instead, it's gonna be two to three, four or five small groups of 
you know, training sessions where some guys come in 30 minutes, an hour later, another guys come in 30 minutes, just to make sure that they get their fitness in. So it absolutely slows down everything. And it's happened to us already twice. And it just, it sucks. But at the same time, you know, we've been ready for it. We've been working really hard and we've understand all these negatives that come with COVID and playing as a college athlete. And I feel like that's why it's making us a lot stronger and it's making us really focus on the next task and the next game. And I feel like that's gonna carry us towards our goal at the end of the season. So that just goes to show that right now is a very tough time for a lot of us. You know, we might be playing, we might be having a season, but you guys have to understand that it's hard. We have protocols we have to follow. We have guidelines that we have to follow. And it's tiring, man, because we also have to do a lot of homework, online classes, and there's just so much things to it. So I just want to say that if, you know, you're struggling through this time, just keep working hard, keep pushing through it because you never know where it's going to take you. And finally, one of the biggest things of being a college athlete and, you know, struggling with COVID throughout your season is actually the schoolwork you know online might be nice and it might be a little bit easier but at the same time we get advisors we get tutors and that takes away from it you know we won't be able to see our tutors in person and help us with assignments everything is done through online so it's just it's, it's a lot of work it's hectic and I'm sure you know JD he's an engineering student and all that work if you have to do it on your own it's gonna be super tough so it I sucks so yeah. much but like with the engineering you do a lot of labs and you're supposed to mess with circuits and Brad boards, but you can't even touch them, and everything's simulated, and it's super hard because you don't have classmates to ask me like, "Hey, bro, how did you do this?" You yeah. can't ask. Yeah, you can't. And sometimes you have group chats, but some of those group chats are very sus. So. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, basically, it's a, it's a tough situation on the school side of things because we have to make sure we're maintaining a high GPA so we can continue to play. And if we're not getting the proper help that we need because we're traveling and we're away all the time, it's going to be hard. You just got to put in the extra work. But yeah, if there's any other questions or concerns that you guys want to hear, or you guys want to know about with COVID and being a college athlete, you know, just let me know. Put them in the comments down below and I'll make sure that I add that in the next video or whenever. Oh. But anyways guys, that's it for today's video. I would just like to say that, you know, this last few months has been very tough for us, especially as an athlete, and I'm sure you guys have had your downs as well. But we gotta keep pushing forward, we gotta keep working with what we're given, and we gotta make sure we have faith and we continue to progress. <laughs> But yeah, guys, please make sure you like and subscribe to this video. Please supporting us. It means a lot to us. And make sure you guys check out Jarabini's channel down below in the description. Thank you again, guys. And I'm going to see you guys later. Yeah, flying out. Hop up in a jet and then I'm flying out. Hop up in a land and then I ride around. She used to see me in a film, remember trying out. Right now me and my bros kicking shit like it's FIFA. Get what she want cause that y'all was a diva. Only one night and then I gotta leave her. Run to the money so fat like a cheater, yeah. I'm coming for a top spot and some don't like that. Pull up to the shorty crib just for the nightcap. Gotta wake up early morning for the flight back. Gotta wake up early morning for the flight back.